So hello all and welcome. And in today's video, I wanted to discuss a chick who has become apparently very well known, very famous, or should I say uh, infamous, or should be infamous. It's uh, 300 body count only fans broad. So apparently she's become very well known for talking about her racy sex life on uh, TikTok, which we all know is... Uh, cancer designed by the Chinese Communist Party to destroy America, which is why they don't allow it in China. <laughs> but for some reason, it's still going strong, almost as if uh, the Chinese Communist Party and our own government have the same interests. Anyway, before I get into this story, I'd like to ask those of you out there that like and appreciate my content to please consider following me on alt tech platforms like Rumble and BitChute because alt tech is where it is at, yo. I mean, you don't want there to continue to be this gigantic monopoly that censors our free speech and tells us what we can and cannot say and makes us censor ourselves for fear of being censored. So, Please, consider following me on Rumble and BitChute. If you go to Rumble, I am the Realist Philosopher. And if you go to BitChute, I am also the Realist Philosopher. So follow me on those two platforms to break up, to create some competition for the current social media and video content platform monopolies that currently exist and seek to control what we say and what we think. So go follow me on Rumble, go follow me on BitChute. Okay, so back to this story. Uh, exclusive Australian woman who slept with 300 people in a year says she's strictly monogamous, but there's one racy rule. All her boyfriends must abide by to date her. Strictly monogamous, huh? Okay, already I'm seeing some issues here. Um, only fans of sex work. Uh, now, tell me if you agree with me or disagree with me in the comments, but I think that if you're doing OnlyFans, you're selling sex, and that makes you a prostitute. So for you to then say that you are a monogamous individual, when at the same time you are prostituting yourself and literally selling sex, uh, these are two... <laughs> Mutually exclusive statements. This is a total, complete contradiction. How exactly are you monogamous when you're selling sex to like thousands, tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dudes? Heck, it could be millions. I don't know. There's a lot of thirsty simps out there. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is she's got rules for her boyfriend. Now, I mean, of course, you're going to have rules that are in place for a monogamous relationship, but, um, yeah, she's already broken those. <laughs> so, really, she's not in a relationship. This is another thing. Number two, how exactly can you claim to be in a relationship when you are a prostitute? Now, if you're doing OnlyFans, you're a prostitute. Sorry. And if you're dating abroad that's doing OnlyFans, you're dating a prostitute, okay? So you need to raise your standards, get some self-esteem, and dump her. But the other thing is, um, in regards to what men care about, what men value and what we value is biologically determined. It's not a social construct. And that is, you know, low body count in a woman because we know that if she has a high body count, she's much less likely to pair bond with us, take a relationship seriously, and stick around. So we want a lady with uh, at least somewhat low body count, or at the very least, who is loyal and monogamous. Well, this woman breaks those rules. So let me get this straight. She claims to be in, to want to be in a monogamous relationship. And when she's dating a dude, she says she wants a monogamous relationship. Meanwhile, she's prostituting herself selling herself, selling sex to other men for money, breaking the very rules, the very foundation of what a relationship is supposedly built upon, and then she has the nerve, the audacity, to require you to follow some rules, some arbitrary rules, some rules in general? Really? Wow, I, I, I just love the entitlement. Yeah, I, I love how women can claim with a straight face to be... Uh, oppressed <laughs> and anything but privileged when they can sit on their high pollutant thrones 
and be this unreasonable and irrational and not only never get called on it, but get exactly what they want. It's crazy. So the story begins by saying uh, she was dubbed Australia's most sexually active woman after sleeping with 300 people in one year. Well, who dubbed her the most sexually active? Because I'd be willing to... Oh, wait, in one year? That's not a lifetime number? Well, what's her lifetime number? Wow, 301 year. I don't know. I mean, I don't know that you could make that claim without polling every single woman in Australia. So that's already a dubious claim. And I'd be willing to bet, given that Australia is sort of kind of one of the top five feminist countries in the world and is a uh, female empowerment, slay queen, you go girl country, I, I'd be willing to bet she's not the most sexually active woman in Australia. Maybe far from it. But anyway, uh, that is a big number. Yeah, that is, uh, <laughs> that is huge. In one year, that's like averaging almost a dude a day. That's a dude a day. Whew. But she wants to be monogamous with somebody? Really? I guess that makes it easier. <laughs> I suppose. I mean, not to get a high body count, though. And maybe she's getting tired of all that sex all these, with all these different dudes. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, this is weird. 300 people in one year? Who's She's advertising this? Wow. Wow, wow. Yeah, no shame. No shame at all. <sighs> My God. So, but Annie Knight, she ain't no knight. Knights are pure. Knights have virtue and uh, values. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Annie Knight insists she's strictly monogamous when it comes to relationships. Uh-huh. Really? No, you're not, because you're getting on OnlyFans and you're selling sex to thousands of other dudes. How is that being monogamous? I, I don't get it. Speaking to the Daily Mail, Australia at the Melbourne Cup, the 26-year-old. Ah, oh, she's 26. Hadn't hit the wall yet. Still has some, what? Some, some, some oats to sow. Yeah, 26-year-old that said that she won't sleep with anyone else if she has a serious boyfriend. Well, how are you going to get a serious boyfriend when you're sleeping with 300 dudes a year and doing OnlyFans? What, what, what kind of dude could be serious with this broad anyway? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't think it would be a dude that she would appreciate, especially if she's a good-looking broad and uh, if she's sleeping with this many guys, if she's doing OnlyFans and is making good money at it, she's probably pretty good-looking. So uh, a chick with this kind of body count, is she really going to be able to stay in a long-term monogamous relationship. Again, it's not monogamous! Anyhow, let's, uh, oh, hello! Hello! That's her, huh? Okay. she got nice, uh, rack. It's not too big, not too small. She's not enhanced, uh, but they're a good size. They're a little more than a handful. That's good. Uh, so she's got something there. She's not just flat-chested, and She's got a great body, and she's very pretty. Okay. She's had some dental work done, but she takes good care of herself. Uh, now I'm starting to see it now. <laughs> I'm very loyal in a relationship, the only man star stressed. That, that's a lie. What, 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 you, you're gaslighting me now. I, I, wow, I love the privilege. So when you look like this... You can get away with just about anything. Most guys will not question you. Uh, uh, you know, they'll just uh, be uh, panting, <laughs> hoping to get some of that poon. So, I mean, I guess she's used to not being challenged because this is a totally factually incorrect statement. You're not loyal. I mean, unless she classifies sex work as not breaching the boundaries of a monogamous <laughs> relationship. But this is insane. You're not loyal at all. Yeah. Well, I'm not having sex directly with them, so it doesn't count. I mean, I'm sorry. It, it, sex work is sex work. If it's sex work, it's sex work. You, you, you're not loyal. However, the X-rated creator said that there's one catch when it comes to dating her. I don't understand this. I, I really don't get this. This is like having a... Uh, 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 
uh, this is like having a beer budget, but a champagne lifestyle, right? I mean, she's bringing beer money to the table, but she wants Dom Perignon. <laughs> Okay, I mean, the thing that men value, you have none of, except looks. You've got looks, but, okay, the thing you have that men value in regards to taking a woman seriously, as in someone they want to be in a committed relationship with, you ain't got. I mean, literally, all you have to offer, sweetheart, is sex, and by the way, 300 dudes in a year? I mean, I can't see that cookie, but um, I can't imagine it's in great shape, if you know what I mean. Uh, I mean, the flesh, it gets used. It gets stretched. It gets a uh, little out of shape, and uh, it shows signs of wear, yo. <laughs> 300 dudes in a year of various shapes and sizes. I cannot imagine that that cookie is um, all that great. So the packaging might look nice, but once you get uh, that package open and take a look inside and see the lump of coal within, uh, eh, yeah, mm, kind of a letdown. So I don't know what she has to offer that allows her to think that she can make any rules of any kind. They have to want to film content with me. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. oh that, this is very interesting. If they don't, then I can't have a relationship with them. It's my job, after all, she said. So she doesn't... Oh, wow. So she has zero ability to pair bond. This is insane. I think I see what's going on here. Um, she does OnlyFans content. But she's getting tired of cycling through different dudes and probably having to pay them. Wait a second. Isn't this exploitation, ladies? I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, it's so it's evil. It's wrong to exploit women for sex. But oh, when you you want to exploit a man for sex, that's perfectly, completely okay. I wonder, is this dude getting paid? This dude that you're dating, is he getting paid to have sex on camera with you? No, he shouldn't get paid. I'm the pay. Yeah, th this is very similar to like when you ask a woman, what does she bring to the table, and she says she is the table. <laughs> I love the narcissism involved here. This is great. The self-centeredness, that ego on this chick, and the total, complete lack of caring or consideration or emotions that she has for this dude that she's claiming to care about and be in a monogamous relationship with. Yeah. I want to have sex with him on camera. Wow, how demeaning for him. Oh, my God. Can you imagine what a loser you'd have to be? How thirsty... You must be as a guy to acquiesce to this requirement. <laughs> it's my job. Why don't you get a different job? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm too lazy. This pays too good. All I gotta do is open up my legs and, you know, I have no shame. I have no shame whatsoever. I don't care how I make money just as long as I make the money. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, she's a woman of substance, ain't she? Good Lord. So she... This is all bullshit. She, <laughs> she only wants a quote-unquote boyfriend, so she has a full-time porn star who'll work for free on her OnlyFans. So he does have to work. Well, he does most of the work, actually. You just lay there. But she gets all the money. Yeah. <laughs> Even if they wear a head scarf or whatever and don't show their face, I don't care. Well, I think that's plainly obvious. You don't care. You don't care about the dude. You don't care about how you make money. You don't care about your reputation. You don't care about what kind of harm you're doing to your ability to bear bond or eventually have a man that you love and care about and have a life of meaning and children. You don't care about what those children's classmates might think of you if you ever do have kids. <sighs> oh, no, you don't care about anything. Don't care about your future. No, 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 just the now. I'm just living in the now and the pleasure of the moment and all this money I'm bringing in. Yeah. <laughs> no other considerations matter. <laughs> right, honey. 
Oh, I knew to care if he wears a headscarf. I want to have sex with my girlfriend all the time on camera. I, 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 I would, I, can you imagine being with this broad? You're like sleeping and you start to initiate. And then she's like, wait, I got to go grab me the camera. <laughs> oh, how romantic. I, I can imagine. I bet you literally every time you would have sex with this broad, she would be like, wait a second. I know it spoils the mood. I got to go get the camera. We got to record this for posterity's sake. And of course, for my OnlyFans uh, account. <laughs> So I can monetize our relationship. Oh, so she's... Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's almost like he's paying her for sex. She's making all this money off of his graft. So she's a prostitute in every way, shape, or form. She's selling sex on OnlyFans. She's having sex with her boyfriend. Her supposed boyfriend, which is anything but. He's just some simp who's working for free so she can make money. <laughs> He's a hooker in every way, shape, and form. And yet, she is being lauded and praised by the Australian media, of course. Uh, of course, because the Australian government, the Australian, uh, you know, powers that be, which are the powers that be that are running the entire Western world, want women to become like this. All women. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. You become a slave to your feelings and your appetites. That makes you so much easier to control, and through you, we control the men, at least the simp ones. Lovely. So, if they don't want to show their face, that's not a problem, of course. Because they're just a dildo to you. What do you care? Nobody cares about a dildo, right? You use it, and then you toss it back in the drawer, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, you make a whole bunch of money off it in the meantime. The gold coast-based performer currently sells raunchy photos and videos of herself to subscribers for fit... Wow, that's a big one, yo. 15 bucks a month on OnlyFans? She's got a very high uh, monthly service fee there. Very high subscription rate. Of course, whew, what is she? She's like a nine. I would say she's a nine. She's up there. Eight and a half, nine. But, you know, again, I, I bet you that uh, rating goes down a bit once you get a look at that cookie. Anyway, uh... <laughs> I won't sleep with anyone else if I'm in a serious relationship. Of course not. Then you'd have to pay them. <laughs> Bringing in these random dudes to bang you on OnlyFans. Well, that costs actual money. No, I'm going to exploit some dude, and, and, and he's going to be a super simp, uh, just as long as he's a big cock. And as long as he's a big cock and no self-esteem, I can exploit the crap out of him and make whole bunch of money off him and all he has to do is, uh, you know, he has sex with me on camera for no money. And no self-esteem, of course, because no man with any self-esteem would get into this kind of arrangement. Uh, so there she is in a, um, you know, a gown, very, um, a very tight gown, uh, not much is left of the imagination. Annie Knight finally made it inside the prestigious bird cage after begging brands for an invitation to the exclusive Melbourne Cup area. And they let her in, of course. So she shot the fame earlier this year after sharing racy tales about her sex life on TikTok before making a memorable, memorable appearance on the Kyle and Jackie O show. Is that like one of the? Is that like an Australian daytime uh, talk show, which ended up going viral? Which is exactly what she intended. Yeah. During her appearance on the radio show, she stunned the host when she revealed that she had slept with 300 men and women in a single year. People are still stunned by this kind of body count? Really? I guess the social deconstructivists are not doing a good enough job. They, or they haven't had, had enough time yet to deconstruct out of us these horrible, evil, taboos, stereotypes we have towards women with high body counts. Which we done completely accepting of this, right? And he also said she once slept with five to... Oh, Jesus. I'm just thinking about... I mean, that's an image I can't get out of my head. Can't get out of my head. She once slept with five different people in a day, claiming she felt empowered afterwards. Well, wouldn't you have to tell yourself that? I mean, that's some major copium right there. You're self-gaslighting at this point, right? You, 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 you've got to tag it as a positive. You've got to try to redefine it as something that is... Uh, a, a positive and a boon instead of what it actually is, uh, which is a burden. I can't imagine the amount of damage that she's doing to herself. This woman is going to have real problems. Uh, I mean, she's got real problems. I can only imagine what her childhood must have been like 
if it was a decent childhood, then she's just made some really, really bad choices as an adult. Um, but these are going to scar and damage her psyche. She's never going to be able to have a normal, healthy, fulfilling, meaningful relationship if she has kids. Uh, they're going to be in for a really tough time with a mom like this who can't pair bond. Not only will she not be able to pair bond with a man, but um, this kind of uh, these kind of casual dalliances uh, and, and the damage that they're doing to her psyche as a woman is going to make it difficult for her to bond with children as well. I guarantee it. Bond with anybody, for that matter. <sighs> I mean, this is going to taint her ability to have close meaningful relationships with anyone in the future, be them friends, be them family, be them a uh, husband, and good Lord, he'd have to be a total complete loser to become her husband or kids. Thanks to the popularity in the media that she has, the leggy blonde, oh, now they're complimenting her, well, leggy as if that's uh, something I'm going to care enough about to overlook the uh, 300 men in a year, the five dudes in an afternoon is now raking in up to 160k a month on OnlyFans. So I guess that's all that matters. I mean, as long as she's making that dough, who cares what kind of damage she does to her psyche? Yikes. I mean, I'll give her this. She's a, not a bad-looking broad. Not my cup of tea, but um, she's attractive, for sure. Got the relatively big doe eyes. Forehead's a little big for me, but, I mean, she's definitely attractive. Got a great body, no question about that. Takes care of herself, clearly. Uh, takes care of herself physically. No doubt that whatever exercise she does, whatever she does to take care of herself is yet another distraction, so she doesn't have to look too closely at herself and what she's doing to herself. Wow, that's insane. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Would anybody out there sign up for this? I mean, she's a user. She's the penultimate user. We all know what happens to users, right? They're abusers, and they end up ultimately alone with no meaning in their lives. But, of course, you know, like any narcissist, she's a user and an abuser, and she gets away with it because she's attractive. But give it time, sweetheart. Give it time. You may be able to get away with it now. You may be able to get away with using someone because you've called them your boyfriend. You may be able to get away with finding some dude who has such a low perception of himself, low self-image, low self-esteem, that he thinks that, uh, you know, you're so much better than him that, uh, you know, it's a boon to him. It's, it's worth it to be with you, that, that you know, being your boyfriend uh, means that, okay, yeah, yeah, it's worth it for me to have sex with you on camera and essentially be an unpaid slave uh, just so you can make a bunch of money, right? It's worth it for me to exploit myself, for me to let you exploit me because I have such low self-esteem and such low self-respect. And she has no problem with using somebody in that manner. <laughs> And calling it a monogamous relationship when really all it is is her trying to make more money and not want to put herself at risk by having sex with a bunch of random dudes and being worried that one of them might be a nut job axe murderer who kills her during an OnlyFans session. So this chick is nothing more than an opportunistic, narcissistic, user, abuser, scumbag. And she's going to get what she deserves, a house full of cats and boxed wine. But let me know what you think. Do you think it would be worth it getting with this chick just you could get some? Do you think it would be worth it for you to essentially sell yourself to pay her essentially for sex because while you're doing the majority of the work she's getting all the money so you might it's like you're giving her money in a sense she's getting all this money having sex with you you're essentially a john but you get to call yourself her boyfriend and she makes a whole bunch of money off of you would you be okay with that if you could hit this let me know what you think in the comment section. And please like and subscribe to my BitChute and my Rumble channels. Again, Alt Tech is where it's at. And the only way that we're going to get our voices back and get our ability to speak freely back is to have more people frequenting Alternative Tech.
So follow me on BitChute, follow me on Rumble, and until next time, take care.